In today's video, we've pulled together dozens of tips and tricks which will help you get ahead of the competition in no time. Number one on the list, master the drifting system. There are three different types of boost available on Switch compared to the standard two on the Wii U edition. When you've drifted far enough that you see little blue sparks fly out from underneath your vehicle, that means you can initiate the first stage boost. If you can hold on to that drift long enough to ignite orange flames beneath your cart, you'll instead uh, benefit from a bigger speed boost when you finally let go. Continue going and you'll get a third pink tier for an even longer boost. You'll trigger a speed boost effect, which is applied as soon as you take your finger off the drift button. <sighs> Number two, how to maintain first place in a race. Um, don't be tempted to throw that green shell away too quickly. If you're leading the pack, if you spot a red homing shell coming your way, keep the L trigger held down. This will place your green shell to the rear of your cart and it'll take the full brunt of the homing missile headed your way. Switch's new double item setup allows you to have two sets of defenses on you two, giving you an extra wave of protection. Number three, uh, use the slipstream system to get ahead. Line yourself just so with the cart up ahead of you and then after a few seconds, you'll start benefiting from a speed boosting slipstream as long as you can see little wisps billowing around your cart, you'll remain under the influence of this handy boost. Uh, number four, use all of the game's ghost data. If you're struggling to make a dent in one of your time trials, select more ghosts after you've selected a track, then download a high-performing player ghost from the leaderboard. Now select race against ghosts from the menu, navigate to the one you just downloaded, then hit the add button. You can now view the character and cart type as well as the wheels and glider options that help the player get that super slick time. Select view goes to see their clever shortcuts in action, then do your best to emulate them. Number five, pick up plenty of coins. Try to grab as many coins as you can in the early stages of a race. Uh, each coin you grab gives your engine a little bit of a tune up uh, and a little extra maximum speed. Uh, you can only benefit from the extra engine power that a total of 10 coins provide though. Any uh, you pick up after this point simply give you a gentle temporary boost before being added to your tally. You'll unlock new cart parts as your overall coin collection increases. <laughs> Number six, find out where the shortcuts are. Every track in Mario Kart 8 has a shortcut or two for those willing to experiment and seek out special ways of shaving a few seconds off their lap times. If you can't find some of them or want some inspiration, I'm gonna put a link in the comment section. Number seven, use the boost start trick to get off the grid quickly. <laughs> As with previous Mario Kart games, there's a way to get off the starting grid with a super fast start. But timing is everything. When the countdown begins, hold down the accelerator a fraction of a second after the number two has appeared. Keep it held down throughout the remainder of the countdown and you'll shoot off like a rocket. Number eight, gain speed using sting stunt boosts. If you shake your controller or tap the R trigger the very instant you leave a ramp, you'll perform a snazzy stunt and receive another very welcome speed boost immediately afterwards. Just be careful that you don't hop too early, otherwise you'll just flub your takeoff. The only penalty for hitting the button late is to miss out on the boost itself. Number nine, use the gravity to define blue zones. Another way of picking up a little speed is to smash into other players while you both have your blue anti-gravity wheels out in use. The gentlest of touches will give both of you a little boost, but try not to hit the other player on one side as you're overtaking, or you'll simply shunt them forwards. Number 10, be clever with your power-ups. In this part, you have just to stop the video to see the power-ups. Number 11 and the last one, learn how to fire hop, unless you're on Switch. One rather controversial technique for extending speed boosts on the Wii U version has you initiate a drifting boost, then repeatedly tap the R1 button while pointing your wheels left and right, you'll dramatically extend the period of time the boost remains active. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you thought it helpful and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.